Uh, afternoon, everybody. Uh, I don't normally post uh, videos doing reviews or whatever, but since this is a brand new product, I thought um, I would give everybody kind of the early take on it. Uh, this is the new Cambridge Audio CXN100 streamer. Um, before I start talking about that, let me show you what I replaced it. Uh, I'm using it to replace. I, I was using a uh, an Allo US Bridge signature, uh, running Ruby software, uh, and uh, controlling this system with Rune, uh, with the Shanty power supply and the Project uh, Prebox S2 digital um, DAC slash headphone app, which is a really, really nice DAC. Uh, has basically all the same feature set uh, of resolution capabilities and DSD capabilities that the, the Cambridge piece does. Um, but I wanted to upgrade to use, uh, to get the display capabilities and uh, just do a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the DAC uh, output quality. Uh, this also does have uh, every kind of feature that you could want, AirPlay, Bluetooth, uh, supports uh, all the big, uh, at least in my opinion, the big uh, streaming services as far as Cobuzz, Tidal. Obviously it's a Rune endpoint, um, you can do uh, the connectivity is great. You know, you can look it up and see it. it uh, it's great. It has the usual Cambridge uh, connections on the back with the inverted text printing so that when you lean over the back of the, the unit, you can see your connections upside down, the printing upside down. Um, the box was pretty straightforward as far as the packing, well packed, not overdone. Uh, no paperwork other than the standard Quick Start Guide, the same one that comes with the CXC. Um, a warranty registration card. Uh, I'm running this thing with a Prima Luna tube line stage and a pair of Macintosh MC62 amplifiers. I also use the Cambridge CXC CD transport and the Cambridge. Uh, Phono Pre in this system on a pair of Altec Lansing Valencia's the day 46 B's. Uh, I would say right off the bat, initial impressions of the DAC quality uh, and presentation versus the US Bridge signature with the project DAC, which is really, that thing really hits above its, uh, above its uh, price point. Uh, I say this one, uh, the sound stage is about the same as far as width and depth. Um, it's not any more forward as far as the vocal uh, presentation versus the, the project DAC. Um, the, this instrument, se uh, instrument to separation is great. Um, I would say characteristically as far as the frequencies across the board, uh, the CXN100 is a little bit, just a, just a touch on the top end initially, uh, more rolled off as far as the sharp edges of the frequencies. Uh, the highs are just a little bit, I'm not, they're not muted, but just in comparison. Um, it's, has that kind of what I call the typical Cambridge uh, sound. You know, it, it's, 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 it's detailed, uh, but not pushy, not forward, not bright, not laid back or dark, but, but not bright, not quite as edgy as, as the performance that I got out of the project streamer. Uh, obviously I can't play it because just about anything I would play is going to be uh, copyright strike but I wanted to kind of give a, a quick uh, thought. The controllability of it is great. Um, going through you can literally choose. I've only chosen to have the CXC transport, Bluetooth capability, internet radio, and the Rune endpoint set up. But all the other uh, input choices can be selected uh, via the app. Uh, you can turn on all those on off on the fly as you want to use them or you can simplify your menu selections 
based on your usage like I did. Um, didn't have any issues with it out of the box. Plugged it up. Uh, it did a firmware update immediately on power up that took not much more than a minute. Um, I did have to change one setting on the coax digital input for the CXC to uh, something they called like a, a TV mode or something, uh, something of that nature. It was having some uh, slight dropout, uh, almost like a little clip every now and then, uh, playing CDs through the CXC, uh, uh, the CXC uh, transport until I changed that setting. Uh, and then it went away. And um, anyway, functionality is great. Options are great. Uh, aesthetically, the screen is fantastic. I uh, wish I could show more without, you know, having to worry about copyright there again and, and let you guys hear it. Uh, I don't think anybody that invests in it will be displeased. Um, if I have any issues with it, I'll try to post another video. Uh, I think it's a good investment. The price to get all the features that it has, the screen, the controllability via the app, uh, and the deck performance is, is really good. It's, it's good for that, for that price point. And if you do have another Cambridge Priest piece like I do with the transport, you can use the Cambridge remote. It doesn't come with its own remote, but you can use the Cambridge remote if you have another one of their products that does have a remote. It will function, so you can do it via the remote or the app, or obviously with you know by hand. And of course, if you're using Rune like I am, Rune will also allow you to adjust the volume uh, on the fly as well. Anyway, I just wanted first look at the 6N100. Seems to be a nice piece. Uh, Hope uh, this helps anybody that is even thinking about it that hasn't seen anything other than dealer uh, demos at this point. This thing just released about a week ago. Uh, I found the first place I found one in stock. I bought one and had it shipped out immediately. Okay, guys. Thanks.